What up, people of the internet? Erica here. Today I am coming to you with a reading vlog. So stay tuned. Look at these shelves. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the one? The one who has all the books on these shelves. Adventures are told. How many adventures can one shelf hold? Looking around, here you think, sure, I've got all the books. Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick update. I have to start work here in like five minutes. So I am 55% of the way through um, Before We Disappear by um, David Hutchinson. Something David Hutchinson. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Sean, David, Sean David Hutchinson. I'm loving this book and I'm dying to own it. It's so good. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen. amazing anyway so while I am working I'm gonna try and get some of these um, mangas read uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna have attack on Titan volume 24 um, which had atelier volume 6 and then Emma by Jane Austen so lots of things to choose from here Anyway, so I'm going to go clock in and I will update you later.
Isn't that the cutest face you've ever seen? <laughs> And allow me to introduce you to the rest of the Tipper family. Nice family. <laughs> So what I showed you earlier, I haven't been able to read anymore because I've been getting almost back-to-back -back phone calls. So, but I am on page 58 of Emma. Uh, I'm honestly thinking about DNFing it, but I may just go ahead and try and push through it. Just because, you know, it's a short read and I don't want to, though. Can't make me. Anyway, later. Okay, people, so I just finished the X-Hex, and I'm going to give this one four stars. I really loved it in the beginning. In the very beginning, I was laughing my ass off. I thought it was hilarious, and I felt that it was going to be a five star, but then it kind of fell flat in the middle for me. Just 
kind of got bored and then at the very end it picked up and it was a very good ending so that's why I'm giving it four stars but I've seen a lot of people giving it three stars and yeah I'd say it probably is a three star um, but I gave it four star because like I said I was I was loving it at the beginning and I was even annotating it and then after that I just kind of got bored with it and quit annotating so anyway so four stars is kind of being generous but it was still good it was a good ending Anyway, so I gotta start clocking into work. Yay me! And I'll probably go ahead. I'm I'm thinking really hard about DNF in this one, but I might just go ahead and finish it anyway because I mean it is, it is a manga, and I should just fly right through it. But I'm not really enjoying it that much. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this throughout the day between my phone between phone calls. And see what I think of it by the end of it. I don't know. We shall see. But I am bored out of my mind. <sighs> Later. And you see kind of the different coalitions of groups of people like trying to prepare for the guys or the bad guys. Then two, there are the groups of people who are really like craving power either because they know they're bad and they want power or there's people who think they're doing a good thing but still want power. Hi, they handsome. want influence and you see... These characters and He's characters so these people kind of interact with politics. And then lastly, you have... <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of, like, Game of Thrones in that way, which is all the different POVs. This book isn't written like Game of Thrones, and it's not stylized like Game of Thrones at all, but just comparison for, like, the pure amount of characters and perspectives. Well, that's a little dramatic. I'm in love with you. If you refuse me, I shall die. Aw, poor baby. Today I told myself I was going to put myself on a book buying van because, well, I need to stop spending so much money so I can start saving up so I can take vacation next year for like a week and get the fuck up out of this town for a little while. But, now hear me out, okay? I picked these for a good reason. One is Halloween-esque. So, it's just another book that I'm going to be putting on my October DVR. <laughs> and she's one of my favorite authors. Natasha Preston's The Haunting. Just the title and the cover alone looks awesome. I didn't even read the synopsis. Cover by. And, well, author by. <laughs> so, Penny knows she must forget about her ex, Nash. Ever since his father was revealed as the brutal serial killer who traumatized their small town last Halloween, Penny's parents have forbidden her to have anything to do with Nash or his family. It's hard not to think of him, but she's trying. I don't know if you 
if you can hear me. So, I brought you a little bit closer. That stops when she goes shopping with friends for a costume. What she finds instead is ripped from a horror movie. Someone from school bleeding out on the floor of a dressing room, stabbed. People are quick to blame Nash and his sister Grace. But as Halloween nears and the body count rises, Penny can't help thinking this copycat killer is someone and no one else suspects. I wonder if it's her. Anyway, the next one is an author by, um, because I'm reading one of her books right now, so that should be a hint. Um, probably not because I'm in the middle of how many books, but it's one that I'm, I'm taking my time with because I'm really enjoying it and I don't want it to end kind of scenario. Um, it's another Lucy score book <laughs> called Finally Mine. And, I mean, that cover alone is just gorgeous. And I'm usually not into, like, flowery looking things. But here lately, I've been kind of enjoying them. Anyway, years of pent-up pining are about to be unleashed. Broad-chested Aldo Moretto, Moretto has almost everything. A great job, a nice house, a loud pushing mother... The only thing he doesn't have is time. The girl he's thought about since high school is suddenly single and his deploying with and he's deploying with his National Guard unit. Gloria Parker is overdue for a happily ever after. She's lost ten years to a toxic relationship. Now she's finally free and recovering thanks to makeovers and margaritas in her mother's kitchen, but she has a long road ahead of her to discover who she is beyond the scars. Just when Gloria decides to take the next decade off from men, along comes larger-than-life hometown hero Aldo. He's saying all the right things and flirting in all the right ways. After one remember for a lifetime kiss, the sexy soldier makes her promise him a date when he returns. Gloria hopes six months will be long enough to find herself and mentally prepare for another kiss. But when Aldo's deployment is cut short by a life-altering altering injury, it's up to her to be the hero for both of them. Doesn't that sound romantic? <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, that's my little haul and I will... <sighs> I'll update you probably tomorrow because I'm getting tired. Good night. Okay, people, so it's the next day. Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm exhausted. Um, um, I'm sitting here trying to pick out the books that I'm going to be reading for Spook, Spook October or Spooktober uh, readathon. That's the readathon I'm going to be taking part in. Um, but I can't, I can't find another thriller that I haven't read 
that actually interests me. And I was trying to make it to where um, I could choose from the books that I already have chosen for October. So I think I'm just going to double up on the thriller, the thriller prompt. Um, because I picked the one that I picked for, uh, the one that has a staircase or a house or, or a hallway on it. Um, I'm going to use for the thriller prompt too because it is a thriller. So, um, right now I'm just waiting for people to answer the poll. You basically put, put two books on there, um, that you want to get to. Well, that one of them I had already picked for October. One of them I didn't, but I wanted to have, I wanted to have maybe another option. Um, so it would be nice if y'all go, well, well, that ain't going to work because probably the poll will probably end before this goes up. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to sit down and wait for results for the poll and hopefully people vote on it because there's really, I don't really have very many follow, followers on Instagram. Um, and usually very few people actually like my stuff on Instagram. So I think I have maybe 400 followers. <laughs> I used to have more than that on my old account, but I couldn't remember my password and all that because I used to have over a thousand followers, um, but then I forgot my password when I switched phones and so I had to make a new one. Okay, you guys. So I, <laughs> it's the 28th and I have four books left that I had put on my um, September TBR that I haven't finished yet. Am I going to be able to finish these before the first? <laughs> Probably not. Um, since that's the case, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to make at least a little bit of progress in these books. Um, because I'm planning to roll them over into the next month, which sucks because I already have 18 books on my October TBR. So hopefully I can at least finish one of these. That's the plan. I'm halfway through Chain of Gold. So the thing is, is I don't like to read this big books physically especially if they have insanely long chapters because I just get I get frustrated and like wishing that the chapter was over already so I can get to the next chapter um so I may wait for the audio book to come back in before I finish Chain of Gold and it's probably going to be a few weeks <laughs> I may try to read it physically a little bit here and there while waiting for the audio but I am not happy <laughs> um so yeah I need to work on these um the next one is The Fallen which I started and haven't made any very little progress here I'm only on page 27 of that <laughs> so and then Local Habitation by Shauna McGuire. I am only on page 34 of that. And then Raising Dragons by um, Brian Davis. I haven't even started it yet. So I'm going to work on trying to make a little bit of progress in these today. Hopefully between my, uh, between phone calls and stuff while I'm working, we'll see how this goes. So wish me luck.
I'm sitting here watching Katie's, Katie is reading her very first video where she does the uh, booktube newbie tag and she's like, it depends on how much Psy is in the fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, I, I just really like her content. Um, I would like to know how she got so many people. I, I want, I, I want to have as many subscribers as her. I gotta call. Bye. So I'm on my first 15 minute break from work and I don't feel like going back. <laughs> I don't want to go back to work. I, I forfeit. I quit. <laughs> I'm just really tired. I don't feel like doing anything except watching YouTube videos. Even though I have got at least four books left on my TBR for the month of September that I really, really need to finish. But at the same time, I'm just like, nah, I'll just finish them next month. <laughs> but watch, I betcha. Next month will come and go for those four books, and I still wouldn't have finished them. So I would put them on my November TBR. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway... Two of them, I'm waiting for the audiobooks, and the other two, I would have to read physically because there is no audiobooks for them. Come on, Mira Grant, or Sean McGuire, whatever, tomato, tomato, you're the same person. You need to have audiobooks for the October Day, the, the, day, the October Day series. I mean, I need that in my life right now. Why do you do this to me? And then, of course, there's no audiobook for that big chunker of a book that's about angels. The Fallen, or whatever. By whatever his name is. <laughs> what is his name again? Uh. Thomas E. Snagoski probably butchered that I just don't I don't feel like reading honestly I, I honestly just want to watch um I want to watch um are you afraid of the dark I'm in the mood for that my favorite one is the tale of the doll maker that one's my favorite one I could watch that over and over and over and not get bored with it. Um, the one with Quicksilver is pretty good too because, uh, oh wait, that one's good, but I like the one about the Crimson Clown because his brother is a total douchebag and he's always being hateful and so... He tells him about the Crimson Clown that if he doesn't behave, the Crimson Clown's going to get him. And so he gets tortured by this clown until he finally, at the end, you know, he becomes a better person. Because he doesn't want to get murdered or whatever by the Crimson Clown. So, yeah. I don't know why people think that clowns are scary. But anyway. Oh, I wanted to show you something. There's my cart. It's got my TBR for October on it. I'm excited! Okay, so far I've got two votes for The Haunting by Natasha Preston. And then one vote for Feed by Mira Grant. So, so far The Haunting is winning. Is winning. It's just a little bit hard. I'm dying. My arms are... Drop me anywhere, boy! We can help you out. Oh, that would be great. I mean, not me. I've got a wife and child. But this one posts video of himself flossing on Instagram. It's a bit of latest description. It was a tutorial. <laughs> and yes, I'm happy to keep shutting up. 
Right. Tonight he wants to look at ladders at Home Depot. Oh, no, why does he need a ladder? He doesn't. He just likes looking at them. Bring a book. Okay, so I just checked the results of my poll, and it looks like I'll be reading The Haunting by Natasha Preston, which is over there. I don't feel like getting up because I'm lazy. No, my back's killing me today. So, um, so The Haunting by Natasha Preston got four votes, and The Feed got one. So, yeah. That's the results. I don't know if you can see it. Focus. It's not gonna focus. Anyway, I'm gonna get to reading later. I'm really pissed off right now. The only audiobook they seem to have for King of Scars in the Libby app is in Spanish. How am I supposed to fucking understand what they're saying? I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. It's fucked up. Okay, so I'm um, I'm just really agitated this morning. I I found an audio book, like I found somebody who was reading it out loud for King of Scars. And it was driving me crazy because she kept hitting the, hitting the mic, hitting the mic, hitting the mic. And so, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return it to the library and eventually get it. And eventually just buy it and read it physically. Um, I'm just, I'm too agitated to care about this book today. So, I don't know what I'm going to do today then. I might just finish these mangas. <sighs> I'm not happy. Because now after, after, it's just like, after dealing with the fact that the one on the Libby app was in Spanish, and then dealing with her, hitting her mic over and over, I'm just too agitated to, to read. So, anyway, <laughs> I'll figure something out. Or I should just go ahead in this vlog here because I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, the books that I read in this vlog... Bear with me. Give me a second. All right. So, um, now that I'm agitated beyond no end, uh, let's see. I guess I don't remember I don't remember the first book that I finished in this vlog bear with me so that is right um the first book that I finished was Attack on Titan Volume 24. Um, I ended up giving this one four stars. And I think it's like a hundred and some odd pages. I'll calculate it here in a little bit. So 
Attack on Titan, Volume 24 by Hajime Isayama. I finished that on the 26th. And then I finished Before We Disappear by Sean David Hutchinson. This was so good. I would have to say this one's my favorite um, out of the ones that I read in this video. Um, probably out of the whole month. Yeah, definitely out of the whole month. I want to own this book. <sighs> anyway. Um, so it was 492 pages and, like I said, five stars. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous in every way. Okay. And then I finished The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling. And I, I, like I said in the beginning, I really enjoyed this. I was loving it. I was laughing. It was amazing. I predicted it was going to be a five star. Then the middle fell flat for me. Like it started getting boring and I just wanted something to happen. And then at the end, it was a good ending. So I ended up giving it a four star rating and it was 308 pages. Then I DNF'd Emma by Jane Austen. I got to page 98 and I just said, screw it, I I'm done. So, yeah. Then I finished um, Witch Hat Atelier Volume 6 um, by Kom Komomi Shirohama, maybe? Probably butchered that. It was 168 pages, and I gave it four stars. <sighs> Excuse me. As you see, no more nails. I mean, they one popped off, and I just took them all off. So. Anyway, so there's that. I'm really, I'm really loving this series. I think it's very cute, and I, it's definitely one that I want to own eventually in the future. So. Then I listened to uh, Haunted Waters by Jerry B. Jenkins last night. Um, it was 224 pages and I gave it two stars. Um, I th thought it would have been a little bit better if I hadn't been so religious. <laughs> Just a lot of talking about God and all that wonderful jazz. I'm not... I'm not against religion, it's just, it's hard to explain. It's, I want to be able to, to read a book without every other sentence being about God and, because it just feels very preachy to me, you know, I don't want to be preached at. If I want to be preached at, I'll go to church, so, anyway, <laughs> And then I listened to The Haunted Mask by Arl Stein, which was a reread, and I gave it a hundred uh, I gave it 144 pages. <laughs> it was 144 pages and I gave it five stars because well I just love Arl Stein. It's just great. So I finished what one, two, three, four, five, six books and DNF'd one in this vlog. So I mean it's not as much as I would read on my days off, but, you know, I was working, so I would have probably gotten a lot more done if I hadn't been working, but, you know, gotta be an adult and pay the bills and... <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and then click that little bell notification to be the little bell icon to be notified when I post and all my links are down below and I will see you guys in the next one later I've got romance and nonfiction a many I've got horror and dystopian galore you want fantasy I've got plenty but who cares no big deal I want more.